For many, Florida is a sunny paradise of warm weather and endless beaches. But behind that peaceful facade, a frightening reality is quietly unfolding. Non-native species are exploding in population, turning the entire state into an ecological war zone. They're destroying crops, devastating ecosystems, eating native animals, and costing Florida's economy billions of dollars every year. What's even more dangerous is that they're sneaking into our daily lives, from our backyards and canals, all the way to our family pets. People are calling this the most ferocious biological invasion in Florida's history. And among the countless invaders, there are seven of the most dangerous, the ones that must be eliminated at all costs. So who are they? And why are they so terrifying? Join me for the rest of this video to find out why all of Florida is fighting for its very survival. Number 7. The Lionfish, the Reef Eater In the Florida Keys, many divers have told a story they can never forget. They return to a familiar coral reef, but instead of the schools of colorful fish they knew, all they saw was an eerie silence. Amid the bleached coral, a strange invader stood out, the lionfish, with fins that fanned out like vibrant fireworks under the water. It was hypnotically beautiful, but it was also the one that had wiped out an entire ecosystem in a short amount of time. Initially, lionfish were kept as aquarium pets, but in the late 1980s, a few were released into the ocean. With no natural predators or barriers, their population exploded. One female can lay as many as two million eggs a year. These tiny eggs drift with ocean currents traveling for dozens of miles and turning the entire ocean into a new home for this non-native species. And with its mouth always agape, the lionfish devours small fish and shrimp, the very creatures that act as protectors and for the coral reefs. According to a 2012 study by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, a single lionfish can wipe out as much as 80% of the small fish population on a single reef in just five weeks. The ripple effect is horrifying. When the small fish disappear, algae grow out of control and the coral slowly dies. One broken link in the chain and the entire ecosystem unravels. The economic fallout is just as severe. The scuba diving tourism industry in the Florida Keys, which once brought in more than $2 billion a year, now faces the risk of losing customers as the coral reefs become eerily empty of life. Local fishermen complain that their catches of grouper and lobster are dwindling because they have all become easy meals for the lionfish. For residents, this isn't just about the environment. It's about their livelihoods being threatened. What's even scarier is that lionfish are dangerous to people, too. The venom in their fins can cause victims to experience excruciating pain, nausea, and even difficulty. Breathing. The University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences documented many cases in 2015 of divers and fishermen in Florida being hospitalized from stings. A fish that was once considered a beautiful sight under the water has now become a public health concern. To fight back, Florida has had to turn a threat into a community movement. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission organizes an annual lionfish derby, inviting divers to help remove them safely. Some restaurants are even putting lionfish on their menus, turning the invader into a meal that benefits both the environment and the economy. And one piece of advice is repeated over and over. If you catch one, do not release it. Report it to the authorities immediately. A fish as beautiful as a painting, but behind those shimmering fins is a silent assassin. With the lionfish, the only option is collective action, before Florida's coral reefs become nothing but a memory. Number 6. The Burmese Python, the Everglades Assassin In 2012, in Collier County, park rangers captured a Burmese python that was more than 17 feet long trying to swallow a full-grown deer. That image sent shockwaves through Florida because it proved that this former pet, once kept in a glass tank, had become the Everglades Assassin. Originating from Southeast Asia, Burmese pythons found their way to Florida in the 1980s when the exotic pet craze was at its peak. But when they were either released or escaped, they found a paradise with no enemies in the Everglades. 
Since then, their population has exploded. The U.S. Geological Survey reported in 2012 that the number of small mammals had dropped by as much as 99% in areas where pythons were present. Raccoons, weasels, and rabbits, once common, have now all but disappeared. But the fear for Floridians isn't just in an ecological report. Many communities on the edge of the Everglades have experienced terrifying moments. In Homestead, a family discovered a python more than 10 feet long coiled up in their backyard, right near where their children usually play. In the suburbs of Miami, a chicken farmer recounted coming out one morning to find nothing but a scattering of feathers. The entire flock had vanished. For dog and cat owners, pets suddenly disappearing is not an uncommon story, and sometimes the only thing left behind is the body of a python, lying motionless after eating too much. Their ability to reproduce only makes the fear greater. A single female can lay between 20 and 100 eggs in one season. The reeds and mud of the Everglades make for an ideal hiding place, making them almost invisible. Locals often say, you can live your whole life next to the Everglades without ever seeing one until one day it just shows up right on your doorstep. Many Floridians admit that their biggest fear isn't seeing a python, but not knowing where they are. That feeling of uncertainty makes taking a walk around the lake, letting the dog out in the yard, or letting kids play outside a truly unsettling experience. To get the problem under control, Florida has had to turn this war into a community effort. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission hosts an annual python challenge, inviting professional hunters and trained volunteers to take part. The public is warned. Do not approach them. Report them to local authorities immediately. Some counties are even experimenting with drones and infrared cameras to hunt for them at night. The Burmese python is a wake-up call that a single abandoned pet can become a national catastrophe. And for Florida, this isn't just a story about the distant Everglades, but a fear for safety in every neighborhood, every backyard, and every home. 5. The Apple Snail the Crop Destroyer. In 2015, in Miami-Dade, a vegetable farmer recounted a haunting moment. After a single night of rain, an entire acre of his water spinach was gone. The leaves had been chewed clean off and only bare, tattered stems were left. On the banks, thick clumps of pink eggs stuck to bamboo stakes like a cruel taunt. The culprits were apple snails, an invasive species from South America that were once kept as pets but when they escaped into the wild, they turned into crop destroyers. This species reproduces at an unbelievable rate. Each female can lay thousands of eggs in just a few weeks. Those pink egg clusters look pretty, but they hide a grave danger. The University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences warned in 2021 that they can carry the parasite that causes rat lungworm disease, which can lead to parasitic meningitis in humans. For parents living near Florida's canals, the biggest fear is their child getting curious and touching those pink candies and accidentally putting their hands in their mouths. The impact goes straight to people's wallets. Farmers lose their entire harvests. Hydroponic ponds, lotus gardens, and fish farms can all be wiped out in a matter of days when a swarm of snails arrives. For small-scale fishermen, they also ruin their ponds, causing mass fish deaths. Many families have to spend thousands of dollars to clean their ponds and rebuild their systems, only for all their hard work to be for nothing after just one rainy season. What's so worrying is that apple snails are incredibly hard to completely eliminate. They can move on both land and water, survive in harsh conditions, and always leave behind dense egg clusters everywhere. A community can clean up a canal today, only for them to reappear a few weeks later. Residents in Miami-Dade once admitted, we don't know what to do anymore except wait for the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to come. Therefore, the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission warns, do not touch the eggs with your bare hands and do not move the snails to a new location on your own. If you find them, report it immediately or join a volunteer program to collect and destroy them as instructed. Some community groups even organize egg cleanup days around canals to protect the whole neighborhood. Small and eye-catching, the apple snail is a bitter warning. 
Sometimes the danger doesn't come from a deep forest or a remote swamp, but from the quiet, seemingly harmless things right in front of you. And for Florida, they don't just destroy the ecosystem. They directly threaten families' meals, their wallets, and their health. Number 4. The Nile Monitor – The Assassin Lizard Coming in at number 4 is the Nile Monitor, a giant lizard native to Africa. With a body that can grow to nearly 6 feet long, a pointed snout, and a powerful whip-like tail, they were originally imported as exotic pets. But when they were released, Florida became a new playground for this predator. Unlike the lionfish or the apple snail, the Nile Monitor creates a very personal kind of fear. They can climb trees, swim through canals, and show up right in residential neighborhoods. In Cape Coral since 2019, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has documented hundreds of them. Residents have reported seeing them wandering around in their yards, getting into chicken coops, or lurking by the lake right next to their homes. With their muscular bodies and sharp teeth, they can easily kill cats, small dogs, and even eat pet turtles right out of the garden. The problem is even more serious on the beaches. Nile monitors have a habit of digging up nests and eating eggs, and they have been documented attacking the nests of sea turtles, a species that is strictly protected in Florida. Every destroyed nest means a generation of turtles is gone. For tourists and conservation volunteers, it's a heartbreaking sight. But for residents, the fear is much more immediate. In 2019, a woman in Cape Corral recounted a horrifying moment when she saw a five-foot-long monitor lizard crawl out of a storm drain and lunge toward her yard. It looked at me and I could see its teeth gleaming in the sun, she said. Since then, every time she lets her grandchildren play in the garden, she feels on edge. Controlling this species is a massive challenge. Monitors are fast, good swimmers, and excellent climbers. Regular traps are rarely effective. The Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission warns the public not to approach them on their own, because they can deliver a painful bite and even cause serious infections. If you spot one, the only way to deal with it is to call a wildlife control professional or the dedicated hotline. The Nile Monitor shows just how thin the line between the wild and the Florida family backyard has become. With their muscular bodies and predatory instincts, they are not only ecological destroyers, but also a source of real fear in the daily lives of residents. 3. The African Sharptooth Catfish The Walker on Land in at number three is the African sharp-toothed catfish, a massive fish from Africa. Initially, they were farmed in Florida in the 1980s, but after just a few escaped, they quickly adapted and took over the canals and lakes. This fish is especially dangerous because of its almost unbelievable ability to survive. They can live in polluted water with little oxygen, and they can even crawl across wet grass to find new bodies of water. Because of this, they easily overwhelm native species. The U.S. Geological Survey reported in 2018 that in some canals near Tampa, African catfish made up as much as 30% of the total fish population, a shocking number. For Floridians, the fear shows up right in their backyards. After heavy rains, many families find these catfish crawling onto their lawns, slithering into their fish ponds, and ruining a whole season's harvest. In 2017, in Hillsborough County, dozens of them were seen crawling across wet asphalt roads, leaving residents feeling both scared and disgusted, as if they were witnessing a living land migration. The impact isn't just about lost crops. African catfish can carry parasites and transmit diseases to farmed fish, causing losses for the small-scale aquaculture industry. For residents, it's money being drained from their pockets every day from farmers losing income to families having to pay to clean their ponds. To control them, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission advises, if you catch an African catfish, do not release it. Report it via the 1-888-I've-Got-One hotline and destroy it as instructed. With this species, the threat isn't in a deep forest, but in the fact that it can crawl right across your lawn, right up to your front door. Number 2. The Cane Toad, the pet killer. Coming in at number two is the Cane Toad, a non-native amphibian from Central America. 
They were originally imported to control sugarcane pests, but in Florida they have become a major threat right in residential areas. What makes this species especially dangerous is its powerful toxin. Glands behind the toad's head secrete a potent substance called bufotoxin. If a dog or cat bites one, the toxin can cause seizures, vomiting, and death within a matter of minutes. The University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences estimated in 2020 that hundreds of pets die in Florida every year because of this species. For many families, this is no longer an ecological issue. It's a tragedy right on their doorstep. They reproduce at an incredible rate. One female can lay tens of thousands of eggs. Puddles of rainwater, garden ponds, and even forgotten swimming pools can all become a nursery for their tadpoles. Because of this, after just one rainy night, the entire lawn can be covered in a dark mass of tadpoles. In 2019, in Palm Beach, one family lost two dogs after they bit a cane toad in their yard a story that left many neighborhoods in a state of panic. The fear for residents doesn't stop with pets. Small children playing in the garden are also at risk of touching the eggs or the skin of these toads. For parents, having to supervise their children's every move just to ensure their safety in their own backyard is a real burden. To fight back, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission advises, clean up your yard. Get rid of any containers holding standing water and keep dogs and cats indoors at night. If you find a cane toad, you can capture and destroy it as instructed or report it to the authorities immediately. The cane toad is proof that the danger isn't always in the deep woods. Sometimes it's sitting right in the middle of your lawn, in a place that's supposed to be the safest for your family. 1. The Snakehead The Eating Machine Topping our list is the snakehead, a non-native fish from Asia that Americans have nicknamed Frankenfish. They caused an uproar when they first appeared in Florida in the year 2000 with their long bodies, snake-like heads, and fierce predatory instincts. What makes them especially terrifying is their ability to breathe air. This means they can survive out of water for several days and even slither across wet grass to find new ponds. For Floridians, the thought of a fish that can walk is truly spine-chilling. In ponds and lakes, they eat everything. Native fish, shrimp, crabs, and even baby birds. The U.S. Geological Survey reported in 2021 that they have spread to many northern counties in Florida, threatening commercial fishing stocks and disrupting the natural food chain. In Broward County, residents once watched a half-meter-long snakehead thrash violently on a lawn after a rainstorm before disappearing into a drainage ditch, a sight that was enough to strike fear into the community. For many families, the concern isn't just about the environment, but about safety right in their backyard. What if their child goes fishing in the garden pond and pulls up a monster with sharp teeth? The Florida government has put out a strict regulation. If you catch a snakehead, you must destroy it immediately and absolutely do not release it. Residents need to report them via the 1888. I've got one hotline to help with control efforts. The Snakehead, an eating machine that has made the line between natural lakes and our backyards thinner than ever. These animals are not just non-native species, they are a vivid warning about the price of indifference. Florida is bearing the consequences, but this is a lesson for all of us. The war against these seven invaders is still ongoing, and if they aren't stopped, not only the environment but also the economy and our daily lives will be threatened. So what about you? Which one do you think is the scariest and needs to be eliminated first? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more stories like this.